Okay. <laughs> I was expecting, uh... Tall... <laughs> I, gotta give, I gotta give him another name instead of just Tall Grand. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's see. Oh no, all I can think of is now like large, gray, and repulsive. <laughs> so anyway, tall, gray, and ugly. I was expecting him to be right outside the door, so... I'm like, that would be a terrible way to start an episode with... Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil! <laughs> but anyway... Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 blind with Mio X Fu. And what do you mean I don't need it right now? Isn't that for... Oh. Push the activation switch. Yes. Okay, I thought you needed a key. Oh jeez. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous too. Why do we have a train that's on a turntable if it's just going down? Oh wait, no, this is the train that uh, we get saved on. Isn't it that Claire is riding out with Sherry and she's like, Leon, jump! <laughs> I think so. Aw, oh, man. Good timing, good timing too, Claire, in that last cutscene. If you'd been a few seconds later... Well... Claire? What was that? I think you know what it is, Sherry. Just stay away from that hole. Just wait here. I'll go and see what it was. But first, we're gonna see if there's any goodies on the train. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Probably a good idea that I did. <laughs> of course, we get so many. <laughs> Why were there flame rounds in the in the toilet? We've got so many flame rounds and acid rounds. I don't think we'll need. We'll need those at all. All right, security panel. In case of emergency, the red light will turn on, and access from outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. So we can't go back in and just run away. All right, where are you, you fiend? I got a bone to pick with you. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Oh. Well now. Howdy, Birkin. How's it going? Having a lovely time, are we? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a bit harder than, uh, oh. Than Leon's. Birkin. Quite a bit harder. Oh, come on. Come as I'm assuming that he's gonna be able to land on us from pretty much anywhere. Did he jump? Did he jump? Ah, he did jump. Okay, cool. I was foolish. Oh god, that was foolish. Oh, come on, get up! Oh, I hate that the game does that with Claire. If this was Leon, he'd just be up again. But no, Claire has to frickin' fall to the ground and be like, Oh man, I'm so hurt. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, I think. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> My screen went turned off for a second. And I wanted to make sure that he wasn't gonna be changing form or something like we've seen before. I think we're good? Oh man, I've been having troubles with my TV and that's the last thing I wanted to have happen for it to go black like that during a recording. Jeez. I don't think it screws up the recording on your guys' end, but I wanted to see what happened. Now, Sherry's probably not there, right? Oh, good, she is and has changed. 
Warning, the motor has been stopped due to problems with overheating. Isn't oh. This... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Wait here for me, okay? <laughs> I'm going back to look for your mom. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Here, take... Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Sherry. Here you go, Sherry. Take my, take my, uh, I'm assuming it's leather. My, my, my leather vest. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. I mean... <laughs> it doesn't really protect you or anything. If anything, it makes you easier to see because it's pink, pink. And I have no idea how it's fitting you because, I mean, I got these big honking boobs. And you're a little kid, you know. I mean... You want to compare the size difference? Not even not even in chest, but in just physical size of them too. I'm surprised that fits on her. Well, at least that tightly. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting her to. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, and I wasn't expecting it to. Well, just fit as well as it looked like it did. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the way we want to go, but I'm going to check, just in case. I think we're good. Of course, now she's dressed all in black, except for the pink that's on her butt. So, of course, that's the only thing that's going to draw our attention from now on. What? I had to go in an air vent and it just dropped me out like this. Bye, Sherry. <laughs> sure, I'm sure that vest will keep you safe. Alright, who do we got down here? Do we have anybody? Actually, wait a minute, we have a map. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, I gotta keep pressing X, not circle. Oh, we don't have a map. Never mind. <laughs> Hmm. So we go through the big foreboding metal door. Actually, that looks like an elevator. Or the other big foreboding metal door. That doesn't look like an elevator. Well, I'm gonna go to the one that I don't th that I think is on the same level. <laughs> oh, it's exit. Oh, I should've known it had the green on it. I don't know how I should've known just because it had green on it. What? Uh uh oh. I see. So we're going to have to move this onto that lift, I'm guessing, for some reason or another. Can you not push it? Come on, Claire. It's not even on the edge. Okay, now... <laughs> there we go. Now will you push it? There you go. Jeez, you're you're picky. So I'm guessing we have to do this. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. I'm I'm, I'm thinking to myself, being like, well, I don't want to really go down there yet. I do think that this is actually a... What is it? Is this a storage crate? Yes, it is. Okay. That is what I'm more concerned about. Drop off this. Drop off this. Yeah, because it's a weapon box key. So we don't need that at all right now. In fact, I'm going to take the pistol again, because I'm sure we're going to run into zombies. I'm going to load you up with... Flame rounds, because why not? We haven't used any, and they'll be good against the big groups of zombies. And there we go, we're good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Forgot to equip the pistol. 
Alright, so let's see what we can do with this box. Can we? Lower the platform right now. No. I don't want to... I feel like if I push it on too far, I won't be able to get it off. Oh, pff, that was never an issue. <laughs> never mind. Ooh, I wonder. Can we... Are we are we actually glitching through that? It doesn't look like it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get, get down. Claire. Claire. Uh, please, please tell me you can get down on that side, Claire. Uh-oh. This is not good. Yes, we're gonna push it because I can't get back around to the other side of the box now. <laughs> Alright, let's push that all the way up. Because I want to see if I can glitch through that. Well, glitch. If I want to see if it's actually if it actually has um, hit detection or not or whatever boundary detection. I don't know these game development terms. Not those ones, at least. Because I never have had to know them. All right. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh. Hello there. Zombie, uh... Researcher. How's it going? Heard you've had a little... A little trouble with your health. Hmm. I didn't even see the typewriter there. Yes, I'm gonna save my game, because, well, we just fought, it, fought a boss. And I don't want to... I don't want to die and have to do that all over again. Alright, and it looks like... Pump room, isn't that where we started out? This guy has a document or something with him. Is he a zombie or not? I cannot tell. Investigative, investigative, investigative uh, report on P. Epsilon gas. Investigative. Investigative. <laughs> this report demands immediate attention. The P epsilon gas has been proven capable of incapita incapacitating all known BOWSs, bioorganic weapons. As such, it has been designed for emergency usage in the event of a BOW escape. Reports based upon data collected during prior incidents indicate the potential for negative side effects. The P epsilon gas has been proven to weaken BOW cellular functions. However, prolonged or repeated exposures will result in the creation of adaptive antibodies to the agent. So I'm guessing we're using this in tall, gray, and creepy. Furthermore, some species have been observed to absorb the P. Epsilon gas as a source of nutrition and use the toxins extracted against anything perceived as a threat. And I'm guessing this is what's going to make Birkin stronger. <laughs> Use of the P. Epsilon gas should be severely limited to extreme cases only. We strongly request the authority to reevaluate the P. Epsilon gas deployment system. We'd like this reevaluation to take place immediately. Second R&D room security team. <laughs> I don't know, I thought I'd go crazy with it. He sounds so, so intense in his little letter. Alright, so. Where do we need to shift this box to? Not in there. Ah, here we go. This seems like a prime candidate for box standing on. Let's try that. No, we can't even get behind it right now. There we go. There we go. And just push it against the wall. Feel Claire, use strength. It was super effective against the box. That's it. I've got a. That's all I've got. A Pokemon strength joke. <laughs> this is the. This is not an easy thing to make commentary for. 
pushing boxes. And Claire is like, man, I went to college, and all I'm doing with it is pushing boxes. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like Gordon Freeman. Man, I went to MIT, and all I'm doing is flipping switches. Of course, I have no, I have no, no information that Claire went to a good college, or if she even went to college. She seems smart enough, though, so... To have gone to a good college. I mean, everyone seems smart enough to go to a college. Ugh. Well, I mean, if we're talking any college. I'm gonna stop now, because this is getting bitter. <laughs> is there any reason to even come over here? Does not look like it. Well, except for that big honking door right there. <laughs> Obviously. But I want to see where the other places will lead. Plus, I need to drop off an ink ribbon. So, next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2... <laughs> had to think about that for a second. With Mio X Fu, we'll, uh, we'll check out all these rooms and see what we can do. Take it easy, guys.